Good morning from Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland here, which is now preparing for possibly one of its biggest events in modern history. We are expecting in the coming days and possibly as soon as tomorrow for that hearse to leave Balmoral Castle, as you mentioned, and to come just behind me here. Over these medieval buildings, it's what's known as the Royal Mile. It goes from Edinburgh Castle to the Holyrood House, which is the official residence of the Queen here in Scotland. We expect that hearse to be taken there tomorrow. On the ground here in Edinburgh, the security preps are up. There are security gates. There are police. There are barricades going up because they're expecting thousands of people to line the streets once that hearse leaves Balmoral. And as you were mentioning, that that residence, many say, was her favorite place of all of her palaces and castles because she had such good memories there. It was a place she could connect with the outdoors. It was a place she connected with her family. She would go with her horses and her dogs. And former Prime Minister Tony Blair has been sharing an amazing story. He said when you were a guest at Balmoral, the royal royal family would actually serve you. There would be no servants. They would take you out on a picnic outside, and Prince Philip would actually barbecue, and then Queen Elizabeth would serve you on your plate, and they would all clean up. They would not want you to do anything. And I think because of those great memories, it's, it's why she loved that residence so much, and it's really why she wanted to be and spend her final days there. That was no accident. She even spent her last duties as queen, of course, accepting and receiving the new uh, prime minister here in the U.K. there just before she died. Now, of course, as we mentioned, from Balmoral, we expect that Hearst, and, and this hasn't been confirmed, but we think this is what's going to happen. It'll leave Balmoral, it'll head towards the east coast of Scotland, then come down here to Edinburgh, where, where we're expecting her to go first to Holyrood and then later to St. Giles Cathedral just behind me. That'll be the first place where the public will get to see the coffin. Kristen? All right, Tom Yamas for us. Thank you so much, Tom. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.